friends. So if you love ballet, you'll know one of the perennial favorites during the holiday season is the Nutcracker. It's that magical world of dancing snowflakes, a sugar plum fairy, and Clara, who battles a giant rat king and transforms her Nutcracker doll into a prince. Today, we are proud to have dancer, uh, or is it player, I guess, as you were saying it, right? <laughs> Hillary, <laughs> Hillary <laughs> Koo. You played, you played the, uh, the role of Clara in 2006. Yes, I did. You're a grad of uh, Rice University. Yes. And uh, Leah uh, is here as well. You're a student at Bowie. Yes. And uh, it's such an exciting uh, opportunity for you. Leah Gaston yes. is your name. So you're a senior? Yes, I am. Uh, Bowie, set to graduate. And, uh, and of course, we also have Cookie Ruiz, who's the executive director of Ballet Austin. Indeed. Happy to be here. So happy to have you all here. This is the golden anniversary year for this production of The Indeed. Nutcracker in Austin. It's such a tradition for everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, it's... Um, such an important uh, part of the, the holiday fabric, wouldn't you say, Cookie? I would. It's, I think over time it's become Austin's holiday tradition. Mm -hmm. So we'll have about 25,000 people join us this year, and we feel like in the last 50 years, about 2 million Central Texans. So that means that each year, uh, when you add up all the people on stage, it's mm -hmm. 10,000 people that have stood on the stage to perform for the 2 million. So we're really <laughs> thrilled to be stewards of this holiday tradition and so proud of both of these young women. Now, uh, you know, um, Hillary, you... Um, Oh, sorry, uh, Leah, right? Hillary. Hillary. Hillary and Leah. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Um, you were uh, Clara in 2006. Tell me yes. about that experience after practicing for so many years, then you're on the stage with Ballet yeah. Austin. Yeah, it was such a treat. Right. Like, you practice your whole entire life, basically, <laughs> for that one moment on mm -hmm. stage, and it was just indescribable. Oh, no kidding. And now, with the golden anniversary, there's this big reunion happening of Indeed. so many cast members. Are you going to be part of that on December 8th? Yes, I'll be there. Um, and what's going to uh, happen there other than a lot of hugs, do you think? I mean, are you going <laughs> to see people in faces you knew? Yeah, I hope so. I think I know some friends who will be there as well. I so. mean, musicians, stagehands, performers, everybody's going to be there, exactly. right? Exactly. We're going to have a white carpet out front so that the entire community can come. And yeah. this will actually open up the 50th golden anniversary season for us. Perfect. So it'll be a really big night. We always have the Austin Symphony Orchestra in the pits and with oh, yeah. live music. So. It'll be special, and this will be Leah's year to, I was to say, move into that role. Flash forward to 2012, and, and Leah's going to be a front and center. I mean, tell me about this experience. I mean, you're you're you've got final exams now, <laughs> Bowie. You're trying to finish that up. Plus, you've got to, you know be on stage for uh, for a week or two. Mm -hmm. It's it's really exciting. I mean, you have to time manage a little bit you towards think? the yeah. end, but <laughs> it's just really fun to be on stage and performing the Nutcracker with all your friends and stuff. I so. mean, of all the, I mean, we're looking at some video now of other years. I mean, what an incredible opportunity, a magical, memorable opportunity to really hold true. And the other neat thing is that there's uh, local celebrities this year. Is that every year, Cookie, it where you bring them in? It is indeed, and it's too unique to Austin. And they do Mother Ginger characters. They come into the role of Mother Ginger and join these wonderful dancers on stage with the professional company of Valley mm. Austin. Mm -hmm. We've got all kinds of people coming this year, so it, and we also use those nights to focus. We'll, for instance, we'll be focusing on Bastrop after the Bastrop fire, so their, sure. their fire chief will be there with us. We oh, always yeah. focus on Fort Hood. Um, but we've got just one, we'll have a member of KXAN with us, uh, Yeah, Amanda. Amanda, Amanda Dugan, our traffic reporter, is going to be there for the matinee, what, on the 21st, I and think? And the 21st, um, indeed. So many wonderful celebrities, many wonderful notables that will be with us. It's a special time for us. Yeah, Jenna, Jenna Bush uh, Hager is going to be, be there. Sunday, indeed. Uh, Leah Manzano is going to be there, a our silver medalist. Exactly. You just got everybody at Ballet Austin. It's exactly. so exciting. It's going to be interesting to dance with celebrities, I would say, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, did you, and you did that, too, in 2006, right? Yes, I did. When, uh, I mean, it's, it's sort of like celebrity meets celebrity in a <laughs> sense, right? Where, what, uh, tell me about where, where this took your, your dancing career um, after this. Did it, did it, um... Um, I danced briefly at Rice in Rice Dance Theater, mm -hmm. but my ballet days are pretty much behind me. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing now? Um, right now I'm in graduate school at UT School of Public Health. Very exciting. And Lee, of course, you could graduate high school first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good deal. Uh, full screen. Let's get that up here. Long Center for the Performing Arts it starts Saturday through the 13th. You can learn all kinds of new information and who will be on stage in the role of Mother Ginger at BalletAustin.org. Again, so thrilled that Happy to be here. all three of you could come in. Thank you. Outstanding. Yeah, thank you. Good luck with the performances. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of fun.